Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert, and I've got myself a copy of the new Patchworks plugin by Blue Cat Audio. This is version two. So what is Patchworks? Well, it's basically a virtual patch bay for your plugins. It uses up one instance in your inserts, and you can host AU and VST plugins all within it. And you're probably asking, what is new? Well, as you can see, the GUI has been updated to look more like the Blue Cat Destructor plugin that I absolutely love. Yet we've got a few other little additional features, such as, now if we just load up a few plugins that I've got loaded in this, we can hide all plugins at once. That's really, really useful. And we can open all the plugins that are in as well, all with one click. Let's close them away again. The plugin is resizable. That is for me an absolute must. I wish more plugin developers would do this. Absolutely love that. We can insert up to eight columns. So we've got four columns already loaded there. As you can see, we've got a pre section, parallel chain section, and post section. So that's four. Let's push it up to seven. You can see it's falling off the end of the screen there. And the same for rows. So we've got four, but we can push this down to a mighty eight. So let's just put this back to how it was four and four. So as you can see, I've already got some plugins loaded in here. I've got a mixture of VST3 and audio units. We've got an in and out trim, got some meters. And really, this is just a plug and play plugin. Really simple to use. So show you what I've got going here. I've got some soft tube plugins on the pre. You can just load these up by clicking on this little symbol and load them up at the same time, which is nice. But where the genius of this plugin is really is in this parallel section here, the parallel chains. Now I've got four rows loaded up. And as you can see, I've only got the first, which is the Pro C2 by FabFilter. And I've only got that on. So if I let this drum loop go around, I can turn that off. Or I could load up the next one, the FET compressor by SoftTube. And as you can see, nothing's going through Pro C2 there, but it is this. Very useful. Now, it says parallel. This means that we can, if we want, load each of these in. And I've got Fixed Flanger as well by SoftTube. And I've also got the Pro R Reverb by FabFilter. So I've got all four running in parallel. So let's just have a little listen to that. So it's a mixture of them all. And on the right here, we can solo each of these and we can mix between them as well. So it's a, it's a mini mixer. Let's increase Pro R. And the fixed flanger. Really useful. So you've got two ways of using this section. You can either A, B plug-in chains. As you can see, here's a plug-in chain here with the fixed flanger and the tone lux. And obviously I can make this as long as I like. And I could have another four plugins following that if I wanted to. So yeah, I could have lots of different plug-in chains and A, B between them, or I could have it in this format and mix in parallel between them. So I could have a little bit of both of these compressors working at the same time. And what's nice is that I can also trim in to that plugin before. So let's just try that with the Pro C2. You can see it's hitting it quite hard. If I trim that back, it's not hitting it at all. So this is great. I could, you know, get my compression settings in some respect without even having to open up the plugin. I can just use my ears. Let's mix in a bit of the Pro R. Solo it. Flip the phase if I needed to. Great plugin, and then that's going through to this post section. And I've just got one plugin on there, but again, I could have a stack of these similar to how we would do it in the pre section. Now, you got a good idea of how this all works, but the clever part of this is I can have my plugin chain or plugin chains within this. And if I was collaborating with someone in, let's say, Logic, and they've got the same plugins as me, but I want them to use this as in the sound I've mixed. I can very easily just save as, I'm going to call this Dan Mix Drums. And in Logic, same drum audio at the top there, I can just go load Dan Mix Drums. That's my preset. Load that up. And there you have it. Everything how I just left it. 
but in a different DAW. Fantastic. So what are my final thoughts on Patchworks version 2 by Blue Cat Audio? Well, as you can probably tell, I absolutely love it. If I had to put it into a category, I would say that it's a utility plugin, and it's a very, very good one at that as well. If you're a collaborative person and you work with people that use different DAWs, then this is well worth checking out. It is an incredibly affordable solution to a problem that actually quite a few of us do have when collaborating. It keeps your options open and it keeps your mix moving. If you already are a Patchworks version 1 user, then this has a very, very affordable upgrade path. Check the Blue Cat Audio website out for more information. Let us know your thoughts on Patchworks version 2 in the comments below. I've been Dan from Pro Tools Expert and I'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.